Thank you very much. So thank you very much for inviting me. So my name is Nobuyuki Sakai. Uh, I worked at uh, Kobe, Japan. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, current status and trend of aneurysm treatment in Japan post ISAT era. This is my disclosure. Everything starts uh, this technology. So young generation don't know him. So I worked at him at the UCLA 1991 to 1992. So Guido Guglielmi uh, makes a GDC, retouchable coil. But as before I start study, so we new surgeon believe the clipping surgery is of course a uh, uh, first line treatment. And the uh, endovascular treatment limited to surgical difficult case such as uh, postural circulation, large and giant, and high grade SH. But the 2002, so I started to study uh, without open. So this is the first uh, report on Lancet. So clipping and uh, bursas and coiling uh, randomized uh, compared. And uh, coiling is significantly better than clipping. The absolute risk reduction is 7.4% and the relative risk reduction is about 24%. After that, so both endovascular treatment and the clipping surgery can do, uh, we, sh we should do endovascular treatment. At that time, so I was asked from a Japanese neurosurgeon, so you can do endovascular treatment for aneurysm, same with uh, European physician. So I asked to my friend, uh, the, the key leader of endovascular treatment in Japan. So I collected our data. This at one is uh, before I sat. So just we started the 1997 to uh, GDC treatment. So six years later. And year by year I collected. This is the overall outcome of uh, uh, endovascular treatment. So about uh, 70 to 72 percent have a favorable outcome. So, and uh, grade one to three. So I start to study. So grade one to two is t over 92 percent. So in Japan, we already achieved over 85 percent of. Uh, the patient of grade one to three have a good results. And the complication rate is dramatically down. And the rebreeding rate is last uh, survey below 1%. And the retreatment rate about two to three percent. But once acutely rebreeding occurs, so patient have high mortality. And uh, depend on location, not significantly uh, different, but uh, MCA and the posterior circulation have a higher rate. But the retreatment result is good because uh, so we carefully uh, followed by angio. So we conclude in Japan, so high te technical success and a good uh, favorable outcome we already have and acceptable complication rate. After ISAT data published, so in United States, for unruptured aneurysm, already coiled uh, used more. But in Japan, after I, even if ISAT published, so clipping uh, superior, however, year by year, clipping surgery uh, decreased. And year by year, endovascular treatment increased. This is a penetration rate of endovascular treatment. Totally, last year, 41%. For uh, cervical hemorrhage patient, 70, uh, 30, 37. And for unruptured analysis right now, 45%. This is uh, our registry of uh, certified neuroendovascular physician. So 
our neuroendovascular activities, about 40% is aneurysm treatment. As you know, so this typical uh, narrow neck aneurysm can treat with a simple technique, a microcatheter and a bare platinum coil, we can treat easily within 45 minutes under local anesthesia. But as you know, large aneurysm, giant aneurysm have a high rate of uh, recanalization. So adjunctive technique uh, developed uh, as far as our multiple capacitor technique and the balloon assisted technique right now, so stent is more used. This is uh, my case, uh, balloon assisted technique, high grade uh, PCOM aneurysm. So at that time I used uh, the penet uh, herniate technique with balloon and the acceptable result I see. But as now stent is more and more effective. So in Japan right now, so almost all coil can use and uh, three different uh, assist, uh, neck bridge stent can use now. So our standard procedure uh, for uh, uh, SH patient and uh, non ruptured aneurysm, so just difference from uh, uh, avoid the uh, stent deployment for acute stage. So these three uh, neck bridge stent launched Japan and uh, recently, so two stents improved. So this is a uh, recent 10 years, my hospital uh, adjunctive technique. So we experienced about 600 uh, stent assisted query. So you can see this uh, unlocked vaginal chip aneurysm with enterprise, fantastic results with the LV stent, so with the herniate technique, so ICH chip aneurysm cured, and the recent neurohomatolus is fantastic. So, uh, and a huge form vertebral aneurysm can treat with the neck bridge stent. Even if acute ruptured aneurysm, we give aspirin 200 and clopidogrel 300 and deploy enterprise and coiling. So this 53-year female um, saved her life. Last year, I reported our stent assisted uh, technique uh, results. How we expand uh, the aneurysm treatment. So uh, we evaluate before stent introduction and after stent introduction. So we compared uh, how uh, uh, we use for the region, uh, size, neck, and uh, so strategies, and fast coil, and uh, dominant ratio. So we can use more aneurysm, more large, more wide neck, and the uh, coil uh, diameter is tendon uh, smaller. And uh, initially, uh, complete occlusion cannot uh, achieved, but uh, six months follow-up, so we, we have uh, the, uh, the enough results and the retreatment rate uh, decrease. And uh, how improve uh, the long-term results compared with uh, seven millimeter or more aneurysm before I uh, send the introduction and after. So uh, the more uh, proximal uh, internal carotid can treat, and the more uh, wide neck aneurysm can treat. And uh, of course, the first, uh, the, you, I, I already show you the first coil diameter is smaller, How, uh, but long-term result is better than uh, before stent introduction. So we conclude the stent assisted technique can treat more aneurysm and uh, uh, achieve a better result. But, the but even if stent introduct uh, uh, introduced to our treatment, but uh, still we have a challenging aneurysm. So as you know, uh, the flow diverter uh, came to us. In Japan, pipeline flex now approved. 
and the surplus and the Fred uh, finished approving study and before approval. So fortunately, I was involved in all uh, uh, approving study. And this is a so representative case of a pipeline surplus and the FRED. Only FRED have uh, uh, posterior circulation indication and the seven millimeter or more uh, aneurysm was indicated. So FRED result is very fine. However, so I have this case. So this aneurysm is uh, previously uh, clipped 20 years ago, so PCOM aneurysm clipped. But uh, just proximal, so she had a large aneurysm. And uh, I treat with a uh, uh, pipeline. Three months later, so she uh, visited to our outpatient clinic and we did a uh, CT angel and partially occluded. However, one month later, she suddenly died. So aneurysm ruptured. This is another case of a surpass. So this is an intracavernous aneurysm, just 10 millimeter. I deploy surpass, but six weeks later, she have a direct carotid cavernous fistula and uh, her eyes uh, protrude and uh, her conjunctive uh, redness. So we have to treat. And uh, so we um, deployed uh, the coil from a transvenous and outlet occlusion, but cannot cure. So we deployed second surplus. Fortunately, we can treat this patient, but uh, if this aneurysm located at the intradura, so we, we, lost, we may lose this patient. But the flow diverter treatment is fantastic. So such a wide neck, uh, proximal internal carotid artery aneurysm can treat with a flow diverter. Now, so we introduced uh, Philips technology, and um, so we uh, now so studied with a uh, uh, MAFA study in involved, and the MAFA uh, uh, ratio is now so relatively correlate with uh, long-term results. And uh, so this aneurysm uh, cured by flow diverter and the aneurysm size shrink. So this is uh, so, uh, our uh, hope result. However, once uh, flow diverter occluded, so we have a severe uh, ischemic uh, symptoms, uh, complication, and uh, this is uh, so a case uh, with uh, Dr. Matsumaru. So he um, treat this uh, paracrinoid aneurysm easily. So, but uh, just one hour, so intraluminal uh, massive thrombosis occur, and the uh, patient have ischemic symptoms. So PRU is 240, and uh, so we give a plus grill. So we have to care uh, the uh, anti, uh, uh, strict antiplatelet management for this uh, flow diverter treatment. We treat 79 case in uh, approving study, but uh, we have four rupture, four died, and three thrombotic occlusion, the five ischemic complication. So the Japanese government <laughs> is afraid. So now we have been conducted uh, uh, strict post-market surveillance. Fortunately, after launch, we have only 0.5% deaths and 0.5% uh, aneurysm rupture, very small number of uh, complication. So flow diameter treatment is a hopeful uh, treatment, but still we need and a clipping surgery and uh, so our previous technique endovascular treatment. So we neurosurgeon still doing. So this is my center's data. So still middle cerebral aneurysm treat with uh, direct surgical clipping. So, but now, so 
50% of clipping surgery for middle several, several artery because of the uh, small complication rate. Uh, so we neurosurgeons, Japanese neurosurgeons still uh, keep uh, clipping technology. Even if uh, the endovascular treatment technology uh, uh, improve and uh, so good we already have a good result. But uh, so surgery and uh, so endovascular therapy is not uh, competitive, should be cooperative. This is my opinion. Thank you very much.